Hello, my name is Thomas Zudrell. I'm a German Dorn Method Specialist and Seminar Lecturer. And I want to introduce to you the Dorn Method. The Dorn Method is a holistic manual therapy to correct misalignments in the spinal column and other joints. It is also a true self-help method. Now the Dorn Method can be applied in cases of sciatica, back pain, scoliosis for example, migraine, different leg lengths, any chronic inner condition, all kind of energy blockages, even emotional conflicts. Now it also is prevention, maintenance and self-help. The Dawn Method doesn't use any medication or surgery, it's only a manual therapy, it's holistic healing for body, mind and spirit. Now the Dawn Method as a gentle manual therapy was developed over about 30 years ago by the German lay healer Dieter Dorn. The method is based on natural laws of physics and anatomy and it combines traditional Chinese medicine principles with Western techniques and principles and it's unrivaled in its efficiency. Uh, we call it a healing method because it combines three major factors. First is the explanation of the cause of most spinal and joint problems. means the patient learns how to avoid them. Second is an effective and safe therapy in cooperation with the patient. Both work together, that is the treatment part. Third, the explanation of self-help exercises and advices for patient aftercare, which is the self-help part. Now basically, the Dorn method is not just a therapy, it is a complete healing method that teaches people self-help by showing them how they can apply the Dawn Method principles in a gentle, effective and uh, safe way. Principles. Our spinal column, here's a spinal model. Our spinal column is the main highway of our nervous system that connects the brain, the head, through the spinal cord and the spinal nerves with all other areas of the human body. Now obviously all body functions are steered and leveled through this network of nerves distributed through the spine. Any misalignment, also called subluxation, will have a negative influence that may result in pain, either acute or chronic, and most other inner conditions are also connected because the out-of-balance structural system now leads to tensed muscles and stressed tissues and nerves. Now the human organism as a whole is affected. Now when can we apply the Dawn method? It's definitely the treatment of choice for scoliosis, lower back pain, back and pain in the neck, sciatica, joint problems, different leg lengths and other structural problems. But it's recommended as a complement prior to all therapies, including any chronic inner conditions, migraines, problems with the immune system, and basically all others. Uh, you have to remember only an aligned spinal column can uh, suf deliver sufficient uh, nerve impulses to the rest of the body. Now the patient will also be explained uh, limitations and contraindications, which we do also certainly have in this case but uh, there are very, very few of them, and they must be obviously cleared before any treatment. Now, we need to avoid certain things during the recovery process. Now, that means any cause or possible cause of subluxations, which may include wrong sitting, wrong stretching, uh, unnatural movements, trauma at birth or before, wrong lifting techniques for example. Uh, we usually show these to the patient, explain it to them, so they learn how to avoid this. Now, what is the mechanic of these misalignments? 
the result of wrong movements and so on is usually starting with a hook subluxation in the hip joint. The head of the femur may, under certain circumstances, bump into the roof of the acetabulum here and lever itself out of proper position. Now, if this happens, for example, if you sit with crossed legs, then an immediate tensing of the attached muscles of the hip will take place, and that leads to a twisting of the hip blade, or a tilting, and obviously also to a difference in leg lengths. Now, different leg lengths means that the hip is not in the aligned position, it's tilted. Therefore, it will sooner or later lead to a subluxation of the sacrum here. Now, and that inclined pelvis and the subluxation of the sacrum, together with the different leg lengths, will make it impossible for the spinal column to stay straight, because it now needs to react between two positions, a straight position at the head and a tilted position of the hip, so the spine will naturally adjust and that leads to misalignments in form of either shifted vertebra, either direction single vertebra, or curvatures like scoliosis, which then develop. Now avoiding this is the first step of every healing. Now the dawn therapy starts on the bottom, means the leg length is checked and corrected if necessary using our hands and certain adjustment maneuvers. Following the leg length check and correction, we check and correct the hip sacrum position and we will also correct this. Then we go upwards lumbar, thoracic, cervical spine. We use our hands to palpate along the spine, try to feel for any imbalanced areas, possible underlying subluxations. Now, using gentle pressure with a thumb, I'll explain it in a minute, we try to shift the bones back in their proper position. Once the spine is checked and corrected, we may proceed to other joints, which could be shoulder, elbow, hand, finger, jaw, sternum, knee obviously before. So all joints can be corrected in the same way. The spine is palpated, as I said, using hand only, so I do actually not need any x-ray, CT scan or MRI. The principles are as follows. With gentle gradually increasing pressure which acts as counter pressure. So basically the patient is pressing his body against my hands. The bones are shifted back into their proper position while the patient is doing certain guided active movements. For example, swinging the arms. Now when he's doing certain movements, the spine also makes small movements. So that means the spine is in a dynamic and the attached muscles who do that movement are no longer just holding the spine. They are now flexible. Now with the gentle counter pressure, I allow the bones to gradually move back in their place with every movement of the spine. Now this dynamic, in a sense, distracts the muscle's tension and shifting of the bones is actually relatively easy and important, readily accepted by the body. Also important, no harm can be done to the patient because we stop any pressure immediately if there is even the slightest sign of pain. The correction maneuvers then can be repeated several times if necessary to achieve the best possible result at that moment. Now we explain a few things to the patient, communication during the therapy is very important and we also explain that there may be certain reactions after the therapy. These reactions may include uh, dull muscular pain, detoxification signs due to an increased metabolism, uh, treated areas may be sensitive to touch and so on. 
patient needs to understand that before we uh, start the treatment. Now, every possible reaction after this gentle therapy is actually a proof of the uh, effectivity of this gentle and safe therapy. Now, we also must say we usually achieve an improvement at the first session. However, if there's no improvement after three sessions, we may find out why. The reasons may include, for example, unsolved stress-related issues, patient is not following any of our advices, or possible other physical causes, which needs to be cleared by a medical professional. Further assessment is necessary in this case. Once we finish with the treatment, it is very, very important that the patient keeps all corrected joints in place. Now that means he needs to follow our advices, avoid the wrong movements and do the correct self-help exercises regularly for at least two months to allow the body to readjust now to the correct position. These self-help exercises are a very, very important part and they are kind of simulate the therapy done by the therapist. So the patient can actually do this at home by himself and actually needs to do this to uh, advance the healing. All these advices the patient usually gets on a piece of paper. All the exercises are in graphics easy to remember, which we give to the patients. Uh, of course, there's also a book available in English which describes all the exercises with lots of photos, easy to follow. Also available is a DVD with all the self-help exercises. So there's plenty of tools for the patient uh, to follow. Now the self-help exercises, they will achieve further alignment over time. They must not cause any pain while doing them and they must be done daily over at least two months and then after that regularly, possibly the rest of the life. Remember, improvement needs time, patience and discipline. Our problems may have developed over many years so uh, it is usually not possible to just miraculously let them vanish overnight. Now, the exercises, the basic exercises, should be done, as I said, regularly. And uh, they don't need more than about five minutes a day. So there is no real reason not to do them. Now, we will have a further video demonstration so that you can see uh, how the therapy is actually applied. And uh, in my website, you can also see video and photos of the advised self-help exercises a patient or everybody actually should, should do. So there's plenty of tools. It's a matter of using them. If you're interested in any uh, seminar or learning this therapy, do not hesitate to contact me anytime uh, using email. Is the best way. Thank you very much for your attention. Hello again. I would like to explain a few more things how the Dawn method actually works. Now to understand the principles you have to understand a few basics of our human body. Our human body is a um, biological chemical construction which is in a constant state of stress and adjustment and therefore there's never a status quo stand still it's always a moving so to understand how healing works you simply need to look at nature or at the nature of our body in a sense now most people will know what happens if you break a bone, a fracture, crack. The bone first needs to be realigned properly, then a plaster will go around, which keeps the bones stationary long enough so that the bones can grow back together. 
Now this, um, <coughs> this will take about two months, sometimes less, sometimes more. These two months is the time necessary to heal. Now we will notice that after two months the muscles will get very thin because we didn't use them anymore. So further training is necessary to let them grow again, but also this works properly. Our body can heal itself. Now in cases of misalignments you have to understand if a joint, any joint, hip joint, spine is misaligned, the body will react to this misalignment and will adjust to that wrong position. And it's only a matter of time until the body then accepts this wrong position as the current position and the whole circle of pain starts. Now we can reverse this since we are a natural body, a natural system. So what we need to do, when we realign the joints, we need to make sure that all joints stay in place long enough for the surrounding tissue to adjust again and stabilize this position. So in a sense we need to simulate the plaster of the broken bone. Now how does this work? First is, we need to make sure we avoid all wrong movements, wrong sitting, wrong stretching, wrong exercises. Because if you don't keep your bone together and watch this fracture, it will easily break again, right? So therefore the avoidance is part one of the, of the bandage. Part two obviously is the correct realignment which can be done with self-help or therapy. And uh, part three is the plaster, basically. With self-help exercises, we keep these joint, joints in place long enough for the whole surrounding structure to adjust. So the door method is basically the plaster for the broken bone. So the door method is the plaster for the joint misalignment. If you look at planes, if you bend a branch and you fix the bended branch using a wire, if you leave that wire there long enough, several weeks, and then remove it, take it away, the bench will still be bended. Why? All atoms, molecules of this plant adjusted to this now forced new position. Our body is doing exactly the same. Our molecules adjust constantly to the stress given from the outside. So if we force our body willingly or not willingly, in a wrong position, the body will react. Muscles get tense, tissues are stressed, tendons are loosened or the opposite. And uh, this is a normal adjustment, but uh, it can lead to serious problems. Now, since we are a living organism, luckily, most of the time, we can reverse that process. However, it can take days, months, even years to do so. Important is to understand the principles, which is always these three parts. Avoidance, therapy or self-help correction, and aftercare, keeping, maintaining the correct state. If you combine these three things, you can achieve little miracles. Thank you for your attention.